You ready to have your mind blown right now? GIMP 2.0. You ready for this? GIMP 2.0, the, the, the current line of the GNU image manipulation program, 2.x, was first released in 2004. That's over 20 years ago. And in that time, GIMP, GIMP the 2.x line has been an absolute workhorse of image processing and image editing on free and open source systems across the world, regardless of whatever you, I, or anyone else think of GIMP, whether you like the name, whether you hate the name, whether you like the UI of the gosh darn thing or not, whether you're frustrated that it doesn't have certain features that Photoshop has that you really wish GIMP has, regardless. There are huge droves of people that would not be able to use Linux or BSDs or any of a number of a variety of different open source systems were it not for the existence of the features that GIMP provides, of GIMP being there for people. So GIMP is, GIMP is a cornerstone. If you don't have GIMP, my gosh, you've got a problem in the Linux world. And GIMP 2.0, 2.x is getting real long in the tooth. Well, just yesterday was this yesterday that this happened yeah one day ago one day ago this was november 5th election day in the usa gimp 3.0 release candidate one was released it is now available you can download it right now you can grab the code right now it's out there uh i'm just gonna look at the uh <laughs> <laughs> the GitLab account for it, just so you can see it. Here is the code where they specifically update the version from 2.99.19, the development branch of GIMP 3.0, to 3.0.0-RC1, RC meaning release candidate. So technically, this isn't the official, final, very, very last version of GIMP 3.0. There could be release candidate two, release candidate three. There could be release candidate one million for all we know. Or this could turn into the golden version of GIMP 3.0 if they declare it to be ready. That's kind of how a release candidate works. That's, that's them saying, okay, this specific version, this specific build, it technically, from what we know right now, it meets our requirements for releasing it as version 3.0. Now we'll test it for a while. We'll see if there's any major regressive blockers and bugs that come up and show-stopping issues that mean we need to fix this before we declare it gold master or final and, and ship it out to everyone. But you can go ahead and grab it right now. If you go to uh, gimp.org slash downloads slash devil, D-E-V-E-L for development, you can grab the development downloads. And they say, please note that this is the download points for page for the development version of GIMP. They may be unstable. If you're looking for the stable GIMP 2.10, uh, you can go to the main download page, but they've got it right now. You can grab it for Linux or Mac OS or Windows, and they've got it all sitting right there. So you can grab it for whatever, whatever gosh darn platform you want. In fact, on the Mac OS side of things, they've got an Apple Silicon version or an x86 version for Linux. They've got multiple things as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, just to, just to give you a quick, a quick overview, my favorite of the new features, I'm going to go down here a little bit. Um, well, I'm just going to read this. This is from a uh, blog post uh, earlier the earlier last month. So one month ago, October 5th, they gave us an update on getting close to the 3.0 release candidate, which has been in the works forever. Uh, they've been talking about this for a long time, and I think a lot of people were expecting this a year ago. But, quote, as of this writing a month ago, we're currently at 96% completion for the 3.0 RC1 milestone with 11 issues remaining. Clearly, they wrapped up 11 of those issues. And there's a ton of new features in GIMP 3.0, but my favorite are the non-destructive editing updates that they've got in here. Um, uh, and I'm just gonna read a little, a little tidbit from here because I think this is pretty fantastic. Since introducing non-destructive filters in GIMP 2.99.18, the development branch of GIMP 3.0, we've received a lot of great feedback and bug reports from early adopters. Based on these reports, we've fixed many bugs related to copying and pasting and updating filters, along with improving the general stability of the effects code. The temporary filter icon has also been replaced with a more intuitive design, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, in addition to ongoing bug fixes, we've also implemented non-destructive filters on layer groups. Now you can add an adjustment filter like brightness contrast or any other layer effect to a group and have it change the display of each layer inside it using non-destructive uh, effects. Uh, that's very, very cool. That's, it's a very nice feature to have. And, and there's a ton of other great ones in here from script ability to API updates, new filters, new, uh, uh, new effects, tons of new effects that are very, very, very cool effects that some of which use a great deal of GPU acceleration to, to accomplish some really, really cool effects. So go, go check it out again at gimp.org slash downloads slash devil <laughs> and then they've got a little picture of i think that's the tacoma narrows bridge is that the tacoma narrows bridge where it's wobbling from side to side and about to fall apart uh yeah so you know download and use it at your own risk of course because there could be some sort of horrible bug that's just going to corrupt every gimp file you work with but this is a release candidate one <clears throat> they've been developing this for quite some time under the 2.99 branch and now that they're declaring it 3.0 i've grabbed it i'm going to start tinkering around with it i do all of my all of my visual stuff for the most part i do in gimp uh, very rarely i branch out and use something else but all of my comic strips i do in gimp a little pixel artwork i do in gimp uh most like i'd say nine out of ten of all of the pictures you see as like the the the, the header pictures above all of the articles i right i usually put those together in gimp uh, i i like gimp I, i've become really accustomed to using it and the the ui updates in 3.0 are nice it's not you know changing everything it's just better it's just nicer across the board it's it's a little bit more intuitive in spots it's a little prettier in spots and that's great but more than anything it just works a little bit better from from my experience I, i'm really i'm really enjoying it so far we'll see if i hit some horrible blockages as we go um, so I expect that we're going to start seeing uh, Linux distributions and, and, and other platforms begin to adopt the, G, the GIMP 3.0 line very rapidly because there's just so many features in here that people are, have been begging for, um, things that... They, they that you can do in Photoshop and many other other uh, photo editing pieces of software that in GIMP 2.x it was a kind of a pain or a little bit harder or just wasn't possible at all. They they fixed a great deal of that. We're still going to hear a lot of people complaining that they prefer Photoshop or other tools, uh, but this is a, a massive step forward for are uh, arguably I'd say one of the most important pieces of software for linux and other other operating system desktops it's just uh, it's, it's an incredibly important piece of software so to see it hit 3.0 is an absolutely huge deal congratulations to the gimp developers really well done um i'm impressed so far if i hit any problems i'll i'll yell at you uh and, and thank you to all the subscribers go to lunduke.com and you can go listen to the podcasts and get the rss feeds and the spotify's and the apple tastics and the whatever there and all the different ways you can watch the videos uh that we put out and read all the articles so thank you to all the subscribers that make this possible i could not do it without you and with that Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes, across this here fancy pants intertubes, I do declare, end broadcast.